Hi guys, it's Carrie from Rock and G Farm. Today I'm gonna have to take apart my fairy garden because mealybugs have attacked it. I have been bringing it in and out according to how the weather has been, how warm it's been, and I've noticed that some of my plants are just kind of starting to wilt and I'm thinking, hmm. And when I get closer, I see these little cotton fluffs. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and I will show you how to get rid of the mealy bugs. Okay, so these are my chalk fingers and it seemed like the mealy bugs really liked those a lot along with this jade plant. And if you get right back here, let's see how close I can get. You can see this little white stuff right here. It looks like a cotton fluff, piece of cotton. And that is the egg sacs of the mealy bugs. You see that? Let's see if we can focus on that. That is your egg sac of the mealy bugs. So it has really decimated my chalk fingers. And then it's liked my jelly beans. And then I don't know what has been chewing on this but something has, but of course we've been out on the deck and so something's gotten that. So I'm gonna treat it as though it was our mealy bugs. But on this one right here, you can really see up close and personal. Right there, you see how that pulled away? It's kind of like spider webby or cotton puffs. That is mealy worm eggs. So what I have done here, I have mixed equal parts water, rubbing alcohol, and soap detergent. And I used the blue one. And I'm probably sure that y'all know what the blue one's name is. But I just mix that up and I'm just gonna it make sure it's all incorporated. And I am just this succulent right here. It's not touched. And all the other ones in the fairy garden have had some sort of mealy bug infestation on them, but not this one. I'll have to link the name of it because I can't remember the name because it was the scientific name. And I can't off the top of my head remember it because that's just not what I do. Okay. So all I'm gonna do here, I'm going to pull out all of these succulents. I'm gonna spray them down with a good bit of the alcohol, water, and soap solution. And hopefully we'll get all those off. I also have some more supplies up here that I'm gonna use if I need them all the way up to neem oil. But hopefully this will not get that drastic because only a couple of them do I see the actual mealy bug egg sacs on now. Um, the ogre ears, which is the jade plant. Um, I can see inside of their crevices some, oh, yeah, and I just pulled it off. I'll try to propagate again, but I'll show you this right here. Get down in his little, the jades part. I'm gonna get my toothpick and I'm gonna pull him that out. See that? That is an egg sack for a mealy bug. Plastic and we're going to send him far, far away. Okay, so that is out there. And I've just got a foam board. Just something to put them on so that they don't go rolling. But what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and deconstruct all of my um, succulents and get them ready to clean and hopefully save some of them from the mealy bugs. If you do have mealy bugs, you can look in your soil. And sometimes in your soil, you will see the little bitty black carpenter ants. Those carpenter ants like to bring mealy bugs back and put them on succulents because those mealy bugs will put their um, sap 
on the succulent and the ants will come back and eat it. So that's a one first thing that you can look for, but I don't see any ants in my soil. So I'm not thinking that my um, soil has ants in it. I think it's just a matter of bringing it in and out, in and out and being up on the deck and air blowing through and they just got attacked. But we're going to hopefully save their lives. We got little eggs all over the chalk fingers. And I'm just gently brushing those egg sacs off with my toothpick. Oh. And now these leaves of the plant, of the jade plant that have fallen off. This one I can't propagate because it's just kind of decimated already. So we'll put that there, go to the decimate pile. But I'm going to propagate these up into some soil in a couple days and then let them hopefully make me more plants after we get them help. Rocks and figurines that I have used in this garden, I will have, have to sterilize with bleach and water. The, this is a good explanation or a good thing you can see behind all that white in there. This is all mealybug, the remnants of mealybugs. So you can kind of see that right there. And they look kind of webby. Now, these two pots of soil. Oh, that would look cute to do a succulent, but that's what we're gonna do. In a couple weeks when I have this all healthy again, we're gonna pot this up in a fairy garden like that. But I'm gonna let you know this soil in here and the soil in here, I'm, I'm gonna sanitize the soil. And I'm gonna throw away all of the moss that I had bought. And, and I will sanitize, no, I'm gonna throw those away. Those have got a lot of yuck on them. So what you do with your alcohol and water and soap solution, you just spray aggressively. And with the jade plants, since they have the holes inside, hold them up and really make sure that you get that solution down inside of the plant. Very aggressive because I don't want to have to come back out here and do this all again. So we're just being very aggressive. Okay, so these have had the alcohol solution on them probably 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna walk down here and rinse them off. Okay, so now I've got them all rinsed off with most of their root balls rinsed off too. I'm just gonna place them all in this bowl, give them another good rinse, and then I'm going to set them back on this star foam container and let them start rooting again. I did have a whole bunch of little bitty plants out there for the fairy garden, and I am trying to keep those. said in a couple days I am gonna um, sterilize the soil so that I'll know that there's no more eggs or bugs in the soil and I'll give that a while to dry out and then we'll come back and plant things up in a couple weeks after we get some new roots. Okay guys, and that's how I deal with a mealy root bug problem on my succulents. And this is how my succulents will stay for the next couple of weeks. 
until they start getting new roots and let them kind of bounce back a little bit from their infestation. Thanks guys for watching and make what you have beautiful.